Hey there, in this particular session, we are going to specifically look at uh, how we can prepare our Android device in order to connect it to the Tricentis mobile agent. Now, we can do it two ways. Uh, one, we can do it through the USB driver and the other using a Wi-Fi. So if you don't want to connect your device using USB all the time, you can also connect it through the Wi-Fi. So we'll see both the ways. Uh, first, let's see uh, what are the steps we need to perform on the Android device in order to prepare it so that it can be connected or configured by the Tricentis uh, mobile agent, right? So uh, for this, uh, I'm going to start uh, mirroring my device, okay? So that uh, we can see this particular device here. So in order to uh, mirror your device, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you are connected to your mobile device uh, using a USB wire to your computer. And then uh, we can use any mirroring application. I'm using one of them. Uh, it can mirror both Android and iOS devices. So here uh, I can click on view device. And for this, uh, again, the USB debugging needs to be enabled, right? So here, uh, now it is currently mirroring my device. So let's go to settings. And uh, in order to uh, turn on the developer mode in your Android device, you need to go into settings and then go to about phone. And here uh, you can find the build number, which is the last option. So here uh, you need to tap uh, seven times, okay? So now, since I am already a developer, uh, it is saying no need, you are already a developer. But if your developer settings are off, then uh, you need to tap seven times on this build number, and then it will enable your uh, developer options in settings. And once it's enabled, you can see this under settings. If it is not showing up, then search for developer settings, okay? and you will find it this is the developer options you can see it is turned on if i turn it off then uh, my mirroring will also stop that's why i am uh, showing it as turned on okay so few things uh, we have to change here one is uh, the stay awake option so uh, turn this on uh, since we'll be running automation on this device it's uh, best recommended that you uh, turn on this option so that your device doesn't turn off while your automation is running, right? And then uh, the most important one is the debugging option, which is the USB debugging, right? So we need to turn this on so that uh, the mobile agent can connect to this particular device. So these are the two most important settings uh, which you need to do once you connect your device using the USB. Now, uh, once you do this, uh, two settings, uh, your device should be connected to your uh, computer um, and then the Tracentis mobile agent should be able to uh, configure the agent on this particular device and it should show up in the device management. Now, this is one of the options where you can connect your device through the USB cable, but then, then there is another option to do it through the Wi-Fi as well. And there are particular steps to do this, okay? So uh, in order to do this, uh, open your command prompt. Now here, before we start configuring this, uh, we need to make sure that uh, the Android SDK is installed um, on your uh, computer or on your Mac OS device, wherever you are running this. So uh, if you don't know how to set this up, uh, I, we have got another video which shows how to set up the Android SDK platform tools um, on your uh, operating system, right? So the, follow that video and set that up before uh, doing these steps. So here uh, we need to uh, go into the Android SDK platform tools folder. So let me just uh, increase this font so that uh, we can see this on the command line. So here uh, we need to go into that particular directory so it's installed here, uh, depends where you have installed this platform tools. So go into that directory. Okay, so uh, we need to go one level down uh, because ADB is not a directory. So now we are in the platform tools, as you can see. Now uh, I can say ADB start server. Okay, and then uh, the next command is ADB TCP IP and we'll give the port number here, 5555. 
Now, uh, in order to follow the next commands, which are pretty big, um, if uh, we make any mistakes, we can also go to this documentation, which is a part of this console. So here uh, you can see, uh, get started with Trascentis mobile agent, and then uh, we can go here and uh, go into this install Trascentis mobile agent. Here you can find all the uh, documentation and then connect and configure your device. So here you can find uh, all the commands, okay? So we have done the first two commands, and then we'll copy this and uh, paste it here, just to make sure that we are not making any mistakes, right? So uh, once you do this, once you run this command, then uh, we need to connect to our Android device, okay? And uh, then we need to give it the port. Now, what is the IP address? Well, uh, we have got it in the previous command, right? So this is the IP address, as you can see. So what we will do is we will say adb connect, and then we will paste this IP address, and then we'll give the port here, okay? And then once you get this, message connected to this particular IP address and port, uh, which means our uh, Android device is now connected via Wi-Fi, okay? So what we can do is now we can remove uh, the USB cable from my Android device, okay? And uh, it will be connected through the Wi-Fi. So uh, just to make sure uh, you will see uh, this particular mirroring has been disconnected which means I have already disconnected the cable. So we will close this and then we will go back to our device management. Uh, we'll go to this particular screen and here you will see uh, my device is now connected. So even though I'm not connected from the USB, uh, it is connected through the Wi-Fi, okay? So you can do it both the ways. Uh, you can connect it through the USB and through the Wi-Fi. So uh, this is how you can prepare and connect your Android device uh, to your Tracentis mobile agent. Next, we'll see uh, how to prepare and connect our iOS device to the Tracentis mobile agent.